Dragons in DreamWorld's franchise are powerful reptiles that are found in the barbaric archipelago and in the hidden world which is their place of origins. They are largely carnivores and eat other animals, with most of them sufficing on fish and sheep or other smaller creatures. But there are those species which hunt and even eat other dragons as well. And so here in this video we will showcase 10 cannibalistic or dragon predators that are seen in the entire franchise. Let's get to it. Number 1. The Cavern Crasher In Dragon's Race to the Edge, it emerges as a formidable animal, a dragon, a colossal mystery class dragon. This wingless behemoth thrives in the subterranean world and is armed with a reinforced beak and claws. It can scale rock walls, even hang upside down from stalactites to navigate its domain. This dragon bulbous ducts on the back allows it to excrete a slippery mucus which can be also set ablaze later on. This dragon feeds on dragon eggs and dragon hatchlings, mainly of the fireworms. Number 2. The Grim Nasher It is a sharp class dragon of moderate size that made its debut in Dragon's Race to the Edge. It is crafty and opportunistic and these dragons adopt a cunning strategy, circling wounded prey for their advantage. Despite their pack hunting nature, Grim Nashes exhibit a preference for targeting vulnerable, defenseless dragons rather than engaging with healthier counterparts. What sets them apart as a perilous force is their exceptional ability to coordinate to outsmart their prey. Number 3. The Changewing These are medium-sized mystery class dragons first featured in the Book of Dragons. They are formidable predators known for their deadly abilities. These dragons possess unique skills of changing colors to reflect their moods and surroundings like camouflage. They also shoot hot corrosive acid, capable of burning through wood and rocks. They are fast, agile and hunt like a pack of lions, with the females doing most of the hunting, preying on smaller dragons and also wounded larger ones. Number 4. The Speed Stingers The Speed Stinger is a sharp class dragon that first appeared in Dragon's Defenders of Burke. They are the Velociraptors of the Dragon World. They are fast, aggressive and intelligent, not to mention they are the fastest dragons on land. They use coordinated attacks, moving in packs, led by a lead speed stinger. Its main weapon is a poisonous barbed tail. A sting can render any human or dragon completely paralyzed for hours or even days. As such, their pack hunting allows them to take down larger dragons, larger than themselves. Number 5. The Scaldron the Scaldron is a large title class dragon that was first mentioned in How to Train Your Dragon. It is patient and organized, and it is strategic by nature. Scaldrons are one of the few dragons known to prey on other dragons. They hunt in groups or pods like killer whales and have picked off smaller species to near extinction. Instead of fire, they scoop up water with their gullets, in their gullets, and then boil it internally and shoot it out against prey. Sea shockers and sliquifiers are their main items. Number 6. The Death Grippers The Death Gripper is a medium-sized strike class dragon that first appeared in How to Train Your Dragon Part 3, The Hidden World. They are a monstrous species with their protruding tusks, folklore pincers and poisonous tails. Death Grippers can launch thick streams of potent acid at their targets which is also flammable and they also have a poison tipped tail which they can use to hunt and kill other dragons. They hunt in groups like wild dogs and can take down many other species. Number 7. The Death Song The Death Song is a large mystery class dragon that first appeared in Dragons Race to the Edge. The Death Song uses a siren-like song to lure its prey making them unresponsive to the surroundings, like a siren sound. It ambushes its prey, striking with an amber-like secretion that hardens into a stiff amber-like cocoon. This cocoon is remarkably strong and it is only penetrable by fire. It is also very powerful physically and therefore has no problem hunting small and medium-sized dragons. Number 8. The Slitherwing The Slitherwing, a medium-sized mystery class dragon introduced in Dragon's Race to the Edge, resembles colossal winged serpents that often hunt in groups. These creatures swiftly slither, employing a venomous bite to subdue their prey before dragging them back to their lair for consumption. Known for their unyielding pursuit, Slitherwings persistently chase prey even engaging in battles with formidable dragons like Death Songs showcasing their relentless nature. And yeah, Death Songs, the formidable predators of other dragons, are also their prey item. Number 9. The Red Death The Red Death is a gigantic stoker class dragon that first appeared in the first movie How to Train Your Dragon. It is a gigantic dragon species only being surpassed in size by the titanic leviathan the bewilderbees. 
A red dead possess three pairs of eyes that give it little to no blind spots. It also has large wings, a clubbed tail, and a massive head, and a mouth with sword-like teeth. To add to this, it can also hypnotize smaller dragons with an alpha call and make them all serve it as a queen, bringing it food, and if it is still hungry, it will feed on them instead. Any smaller dragon can become its dinner. And number 10, the Yorman Gander. Also known as the World Serpent and the Midgard Serpent, this is yet another serpent-like species. It is a large mystery class dragon that first appeared in the new series called Dragons the Nine Realms. It is characterized by its elongated ear-like body and distinct frills that resemble a cobra's hood, kind of like the warbat from the Hollow Earth from the Monsterverse. The Yorman Gander holds the top position as a predator among all dragons and can even be in a state of dormant existence for hundreds of years without food. So that's a pretty long hibernation time. So those are the 10 deadliest predators of dragons in HTTYD or How to Train Your Dragon. So if you like this video, then check this other one as well. And if you're more interested in other movie monsters and creatures, then check out our channel. So like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care, fam.